For the first time ever, the Entomological Society of America is changing an insect's name because it's derogatory. Make sure you guys leave some messages in the comment section. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you always know when we have brand new content so you won't miss a thing. This is random things you need to know. I am a fly, African fly on top of that. Very African, and I like to buzz around your face. Got a couple partners out there uh, who are getting some name changes. Yeah, you probably didn't know this, but you need to know this, because this, this is called racial progress. Take a listen. For the first time ever, the Entomological Society of America is changing an insect's name because it's derogatory. The gypsy moth is an invasive caterpillar causing problems with New England trees in recent years. Society President Michelle S. Smith tells the Associated Press the name is an ethnic slur that's been rejected by the Romani people and no one wants to be associated with a harmful invasive pest. Experts are going to call the caterpillar instead by its scientific name, Lymontria dispar, until a new name is decided. Scientists who have been working on changing an invasive moth's common name, which included an ethnic slur, made a decision. Previously known as the gypsy moth, the species, species Lymantria dispar is now spongy moth. Wait a minute. Now that's pretty disrespectful to maritime life, you motherfuckers. According to the Entomological Society of America, which makes the common names of insects and related organism lists and an essential database for anyone working with insects. For the Romani people, an ethnic group originating in northern India and that was at one time identified as Egyptian, the word gypsy has been offensive, dangerous, and dehumanizing since it first appeared in the 1500s. Oh my god. Mataji was one of the several Romani scholars uh, consulted during the name removal process. This process to rename the GMOF <laughs> can serve as a truly effective practice on how to create better common names and ensure substantive and just participation of the affected communities in the process. Aww. Native to Europe, Asia, and North Africa, the spongy moth is an, inv is an invasive pest destroying the leaves of hundreds of trees and shrub species and costing hundreds of millions of dollars in damage and management efforts annually. According to the Entomological Society of America, the moth spends most of its 10-month life in an egg stage, which, it is, which is when it travels on firewood, outdoor equipment, and vehicles in mass. Public awareness is critical in slowing its spread, said the society's president, Jessica Ware, in the news release. Spongy Moth gives entomolo entomologists and, and foresters a name for the species that reinforces an important feature of the moth's biology and moves away from the outdated term that was previously used. We are grateful to the diverse community of people and organizations who have been involved in the renaming process and have committed to adopting Spongy Moth as well. The Moth's new name was chosen from more than 200 nominations evaluated by a group of more than 50 scientists convened by the society. The group sought insight from many experts and organizations and collected more than 1,000 responses from seven finalists' names. Spongy Moth refers to the spongy-like egg masses and comes from the common name Spongugis, used of the insect, used for the insect in France and in French-speaking Canada, according to the news release. In addition to the new name being listed as the common names list, Spongy Moth will be used in the society's publications, presentations, and social media. The society's Better Common Names project was launched a toolkit in adopting the new name as a resource for the other organizations and experts. Spongy Moth is already beginning to appear in media stories and other online resources which we're excited about. Uh, someone at this fucking place said this shit. Who fucking cares? And books and print products or regulations related to 
L. Disfar, I guess the, the, that's the other name, that's the clinical name for the moth. Phasing in use of the new name may take some time, she added. ESA will continue to provide supporting resources for organizations adopting this change. President prejudice has produced profound harm in the lives of Romani Americans and the global Romani diaspora. Matashe said in an email, changing the name of the insects is very relevant in re and rectifying the mainstream white narratives about Romani people. I hope that the decision to give up the G word gets to be followed by others who also need to change the names of businesses, events, websites, fashion cultures, cakes, foods, drinks, college parades that include the G word. So, what have we learned here today, people? Well, we've learned that our scientists have nothing to do. They are too wrapped up in social politics and social awareness to be doing things that make sense. You know, like trying to figure out how to, I don't know, uh, cure us all of random diseases, or maybe even how to figure out a way to keep this particular moth from being so invasive when it comes into our nation. No, that's not important. Let's change its name, because that's important. Calling it a gypsy moth is disrespectful to gypsy people. I'm assuming calling an African beetle an Af African is probably also disrespectful. You know, calling a China flu Chinese, even though it came from China, was disrespectful. So I'm sure that this will continue on. And soon we'll just have flies of all flies. We'll have flies of all regions. And to differentiate them, I guess they'll have to find a new way. Because African fly, African beetle, that's not going to work. Because it's too disrespectful because it's racial. Maybe we'll just call it the big black one. <gasps> until that's disrespectful. Yeah, just like until, until maritime people or aquatic people find spongy to be disrespectful, or those who are sponge advocates find this to be disrespectful, you know, then they'll probably change that too. Because this is what people who don't have shit else to do with their time, this is what they do. They go out and they seek out things that are not important and make them important for you and me. Leave some messages in the comments section. Tell me what do you think? Do you think this is a great idea? I have been so concerned about the gypsy moth being called gypsy moths. Matter of fact, I know gypsy moths are offended by being called gypsy moths. Okay, well, you obviously are the insect whisperer and maybe we all should listen to you. So leave a message in the comments section. I'd love to learn more from you, insect whisperer. Or are you like me? Well, this is dumb because uh, scientists could be focusing their attention on keeping the species out of here or making sure that it doesn't destroy our our forests, but they're too busy focusing on giving it a new racial designation or a new name so that it doesn't affect people ethnically. Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this until we have nothing else to take the, until we have no more racial designations to take away from uh, species, animals, teams, whatever the case, and then we'll just divide them up and start taking away names based on whatever frivolousness we've come up with in the next 20, 30 years. Who knows how this is going to go. But I know this, this isn't the end. I'm sure the, the gypsy moth, the spongy moth, will be getting a new name very soon. The spongy's gonna be disrespectful too. It's already disrespectful. I'm a, I, I, wait a minute. Yes, I am, I am atmosphere fluid, and I feel like I'm an amphibian, and this upsets me as a person who likes to be in the water, as an aquatic person, aqu aquatic species. I'm offended. And as a, yep, I feel like a sponge. I feel like a sponge right now, and as a trans species, as a sponge person, I do not appreciate this. So, it's something that you needed to know. I'm mad. I'm going to go sit in the corner and soak up something. You need to know this. And now you do know. Do you feel smarter? Do you feel more empowered? Do you feel like you've changed the world because of this? Great. <laughs> Random radio. God. Yeah, boy! You are